I would like to see him returned and brought back, brought home before, um, before I go. Why is that important? You know, it, it just it, it's something that's always bothered me. The, the idea of uh, my father being at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean just seems wrong to me. I, I, think, I think it would be um, somehow satisfying to at least have him uh, back where we know where he is and, and uh, where the uh, grandchildren can go to Arlington and see that that's where they're and that's where their uh, great-grandfather is. Yeah. What was the family's reaction when they found out? Well, of course, they were devastated. Well, this is a, this is a story my, my brother told. Mm -hmm. He's, he was still at home at the time he was in college. Was, the next morning, they heard on the radio that this plane had been lost. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and my mother said, uh, that's, your, that's your father, Roger, my, my brother Roger. He said, that, that's your father. And he said, no, Mother, that can't be him. He said, well, how do you know? She said, last night he uh, appeared in my room at the bottom of the bed, standing there, and said, everything will be all right, Ann. And then disappeared. We were, we were told at the time that it was irrecoverable. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and I think we all accepted it. That was just the way it was. Yeah. We, you know, we couldn't argue with it. So, it wasn't like there was an option. Right. And it was just, uh, yeah. This is the way it was. So it wasn't until you read about these other operations yes. that all of a sudden, it's conceivable. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I mean, here they're talking about eighteen and a half thousand feet, and they're going down and getting the airplane and the people out of it. And when I read that, I thought, whoa, this is amazing. Because I remembered, you know, Dad's plane is at, at the most at 1,200 feet. Yeah. Another thing that's disappointing to me is this idea that the military has this airplane that they know is a death trap, and they keep putting people on it to fly it. You know, that's, um, I can understand mm -hmm. where, you know, if something, if, if it's wartime and something is critical and, and you know, people have to take chances and, yeah. and so on. But I never understood why this was that critical. Yeah. That they would continue to risk the lives of, well, it's not just my father, but, uh, you know, there's a long list of people that got killed in these mm -hmm. things. You're going to keep trying? Oh, Yes. Yes, because you know it. It goes back to the issue of. Uh, I mean, everybody deserves. Everybody in the military who's been killed overseas deserves to be brought home. I think.